Hello and welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn and today I'm going to show you how to make the star stitch. This stitch is made using the half double crochet stitch along with the chain stitch and pulling up some loops. For patterns on this stitch, go to thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for being here and let's get crocheting. Today I'll be using Red Heart with Love in the color lilac and it's a number four weight yarn. I'm also using my size H crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. The stitch multiple is two plus four, so I'm going to start with eight chains, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to do my plus four. So there's one, two, three, four. We're going to begin in the second chain from our hook. So this uh, stitch on our hook counts as a stitch already. So we're going to count back to the second stitch, going through the back bump of the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. So there's two loops. We're going to pick up six loops to begin. So there's three, four, five, and six. Six loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. And make a chain to close up our first little star. To make another one, we're going to begin in that chain that we just made. So insert your hook in the chain and yarn over and pull up a loop. Next, we're going to go in the side of our stitch on the end. So go through that side of that stitch and I like to go through both loops. Insert yarn over, pull up a loop. And now we're going to go into that same chain stitch as our last stitch from the previous star stitch. So insert there and bring up a loop. So what we're doing is we're picking up four loops going down the side of our previous star stitch. Okay, and then we're going to pick up two more loops, one in the next chain and one in the next chain. And now we have six loops on our hook again. So yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to close your star. So that's how you make these uh, star stitches. Go through the chain, go through the stitch, Go in the same chain stitch as your ending stitch of the previous star stitch. And then in the next two stitches, we're going to pick up a loop. So there's one and two. Yarn over, pull through all six loops. And yarn over and make a chain. So I have two stitches left. So we're going to make one more star stitch. And one in the last two stitches. Six loops, yarn over, pull through all six, chain one, and then yarn over and we're going to go into that same last stitch again and make a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that is row one. Now it takes two rows to complete the star stitch. So for the second row we're going to chain two and turn. And we're going to be placing two half double in every chain, uh, yeah, every chain that we did. So here's one and two. Two half double. The chain two on the end, it, it doesn't count as part of the two 
half doubles inside that chain one space. It's off to the side a little bit. So don't count that. So place two half doubles in every chain space. Going across. And if you can't tell, because there's a little space right in here, right before the chain, but it, it looks kind of more uh, like a circle than over here. And it's where all the stitches are coming out of, you can kind of tell. So just look for that. Okay, so two half double in every chain space going across and then on the edge we're going to place a half double crochet on the edge and that is the back side so here's the front I just turned my work so here's how here's how it looks when you do the star stitch and then you complete the second row Okay, so to make another, I'm going to show you one more time because we're not going to be working into these chains now. Okay, so to make another row, uh, chain three, and then go into the back bump, uh, the second chain from your hook, the back bump of the second chain, and pull up a loop. And then that last chain, Pull up a loop, so we have three loops on our hook. Now we're going to turn our work to the front and pick up a loop in that first stitch. We have four loops on our hook, so we need to pick up two more to get six. Now another way to tell, if you end up way over here, you're already working into that second star stitch, right? So sometimes if you're not paying attention and your loops get off count, if you check your work and make sure that your star stitches are stacking up on each other. Okay, so six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through, and chain one. So it's the same exact as before, going the base of the previous stitch. Now I have four loops, and then pick up one and two or you could say five and six. You can do the counting however you like. Okay, and make a chain. Make a couple more here. There's four and five and six. Yarn over, pull through all six, chain one, insert, now I have two, three, and now in the base, there's four. And my last two stitches, five and six. And yarn over, pull up, pull through all six, chain one, and then half double in that same stitch. All right. To complete our star stitch, chain two and turn. And again, we're going to place two half double in every chain space to complete the star. And the last stitch, half double in the last stitch. So just keep on completing the two rows. You can make it as wide as you like. You can make it as long as you like. This makes wonderful blankets, scarves, hats, air warmers. And let me show you another sample that I have. A little bit bigger. Isn't that pretty? This is in the same color, the lilac. This is the front. And then here's the back. It's also very pretty. It has a lot of texture to it as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on the star stitch and learned a lot. Thank you for being here and crocheting with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at thepurpleponcho.com for more crochet, knit, and Tunisian crochet patterns.
Have a wonderful day.